And a good early morning to you boys and girls of the internet. Check it out. Chevy Silver Laredo. <laughs> That's not right. But it'll be okay. This is the latest entry through the gates don't worry pick this one up from an auction no i'm not doing those rebuild videos not for this one anyway this one as you can see here has 106,000 miles and it's got a 6.0 in it and it is two-wheel drive and it is wrecked and you could stick another bed on it and you could straighten that rear end up or you could just straighten the rear end up I really don't care um, yeah, I guess technically speaking you could replace those lease and then slide the wheel up and then keep on trucking just forget about the dent in the cab but we're not gonna we're not going to do that. Truck's in really good shape. Tow and package. Tailgate's bent a little bit at the bottom. Yeah. Maybe a homemade Rhino liner job in it, but these things never hold up if you do it yourself. I, I take that back. Maybe you can do it, but I haven't seen many people have good success with it. Just I want mine done, but I'm going to take mine somewhere and have it done. Let's see if we can't start this thing up. Alright, so this is a 6.0, so let's see if it's got that 6.0 rattle when it starts up. You know what I'm talking about? Every 6.0 truck I've had has a rattle in it when it first starts. So here we go. a teeny tiny little little tick there for a second 106,000 miles quarter tank of well eighth of a tank of gas 40 pounds of oil pressure it's charging and the engine is cold like I said it's got no warning lights other than a seat belt light because I'm not buckled up That noise right there is from the, uh, the zip tie they put around it to hold the key. <laughs> open this hood see this hog ass six up there she is 2008 six oh It doesn't sound very smooth, does it? It sounds like it's got like a, a dead spot in it. Like it idles good, and all of a sudden it won't, and then it picks back up. That's all right. I'm not too worried about it. So the whole nose assembly, hood, grill, bumper, fenders, inner fenders, all that stuff is sold. That's gonna go to rebuild another truck. And then the motor and transmission and rear end, you know, it's not out of place. It's also sold. A guy's gonna put it down in a 70s model Chevrolet truck. So he was on the hunt for one of these. And we were gonna sell him that 5.3 out of that Envoy Denali that I got down here. 
but this is gonna work out much better. The Envoy Denali was all wheel drive, so we'd have to find a different transmission <coughs> and uh, go through some hoops. And he was wanting a 6.0 in the first place. So here's a 6.0. Motor trans, the new part of this harness, the rear end, put it together something. You can't drive it because the drive shaft has slipped out. Not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> All right guys, just thought I'd share with you real quick. I'm about to pull it around to the back and uh, get started taking this front end off. So we'll see you in the next one.